be on the handle of their front door. Now, the next time we have a 29th of March, Britain will officially be exiting the European Union. It's that close now. The Prime Minister, Theresa May, is making a whistle-stop tour of the UK today to mark the one-year-to-go moment. And she will say her government is taking action to keep the country strong and united. Tough negotiations on the future relationship with the EU still lie ahead, of course. Uh, our correspondent Gavin Lee is in Antwerp as part of our special coverage today, having a look at the future of UK EU trade and what Brexit means to Europe. Gavin, over to you. Well, welcome to Antwerp. I mean, one of the big issues that doesn't always get looked at is the customs union, union, the single market, how you get things from these ports, the second biggest port in Europe of Antwerp, over the channel to the UK and back and forth. So something like 44 billion pounds of trade between the Belgians, between the, uh, the British. You have about 60 billion pounds of trade between the Dutch and the British as well, going back and forth. You know, stacks of containers sitting in the ports. If one supermarket orders something, usually a day later, it's sent by a forwarding company. If suddenly, after decades in the European Union, there has to be paperwork, there's talk that stopping, for example, a lorry for two minutes could cause delays of up to 20 minutes on both sides of the, the border. So I think it's fair to say the French, the Dutch, the Belgians bracing themselves rather than ecstatic about the idea of Brexit. But let's get some clarity on the feeling at this side of the, the waters and bring in Hans Martins. You're the chief executive of VOCA, the Flemish um, Chamber of Commerce. A year to go, give me a sense of how you're feeling about Brexit. A good morning. Uh, we have a very bad feeling about the Brexit because the trade between our Flemish companies and the UK is very important. It's crucial. Um, for us, we had uh, 28 billion uh, euros are going from Flanders uh, to UK. Uh, that's the fourth biggest trade partner for us. And 10% of our export worldwide is going to UK. For our companies, uh, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, um, uh, for the port of Seabrugge, for the food, for our textiles industry, uh, the UK trade uh, is very crucial. And that's the reason we are so afraid uh, for the Brexit today. You talk of fear, as we talk, there's a huge container going past us. I'm not sure if it's coming from or going to the UK. I think it's coming, uh, going from. Um, tell me about you know, listening to Boris Johnson, for example, the British Foreign Secretary, who, who says there'll be a trade deal like no other. And in fact, you know, these ports potentially could, could benefit because there'll be trade coming elsewhere through to the UK and then to Europe that way. What, what do you think about the positive side? What are your hopes for Brexit, the best case? Uh, the best case will be no Brexit. Uh, the best trade deal is uh, is the U European Union deal we have now. And what we what we hope and 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 what we ask to the politicians, we we ask a trade oriented, a, tra a, a deal that's friendly for our businesses with uh, uh, less or no uh, customs um, uh, obligations, uh, with no, uh, low or no import tariffs, no new regulators for our companies, because that means uncertainty for our companies. And if the was something what uh, companies don't like it's uh, uncertainty uh, what we want it's an agreement uh, and a model maybe the CETA but it has to be a CETA plus 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 to, to, bring the, that, to bring that into perspective CETA is the deal the trade deal that took seven years to be agreed with Canada um, there are limitations to that the, the, one of the issues that people perhaps to, to hammer home here is if Britain isn't in the single market and, and the, the worst case is they fall out there's a World Trade Organization deal cars 10% tariff uh, certain other goods fruit and veg 25% tariff is there, you know, you, you talk about no Brexit happening, is there a, if you get your ducks in order, you get your customs officials in, in place, there might be a period of instability, there's a transition period. Can it work for you, you know, even if it has to happen, you clearly don't want it to, in an, an advanta advantageous way? Uh, we hope so. Um, but what we see now on the transition period, uh, there's a the transition period for the companies is during until the end of 2020. And there have to be an agreement next year, the same day as today, uh, about a lot of things. Uh, but then we'll start the negotiations about the trade. And then if we have an agreement until 2020, 
then it needs a second transition period because if there is an agreement, there's a lot of uh, time necessary for the new regulatory, for the customs, for import tariffs. We hope there are not, but there we need for our companies a long uh, tra uh, transition period. Hans Martins from VOCA, the, the Chamber of Commerce. That's pretty clear, isn't it? I think that is quite reflective. Quite a lot of people here, they are bracing themselves. In brief, the head of the port of Rotterdam, the biggest uh, port in Europe, said they are preparing for the worst, but they are hoping for the best with Brexit. A year to go. Yes, we all.